Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. And they don't want folk like us no more. Red Dead Redemption 2, the long-awaited follow-up to Rockstar Games' 2010 critically acclaimed Red Dead Redemption, has finally been released. I've played it, loved it, and now wanted to make a review covering my thoughts on the game overall without giving away any major spoilers. I'm using footage from the first 5 hours of the game or so, so if you haven't played it yet or are on the fence about getting it, this should be safe for you to watch. Now if you have finished the game and would like to know my full thoughts, spoilers included, I did a Kill Connor Club spoiler cast with James that's 90 minutes of us discussing everything about the game's story. I'll leave that as the top link in the description for you to check out if you'd like. Now for some context, the first Red Dead Redemption game has been in my top 3 favourite games of all time ever since its release, and was to me the best scripted narrative I'd ever experienced in a video game. Now 8.5 years later, finally getting to see a follow up and Rockstar's first fully developed game on this current generation of consoles, I have been over the moon with excitement and expectation. Not just in terms of game quality, but in terms of narrative delivery. Red Dead Redemption 2 is the prequel story to the original Red Dead Redemption, and tells the story of the Vandalin Gang, the Red Dead Redemption's protagonist John Marston was a part of, and subsequently spent the original game hunting down several members of the old gang in. In Red Dead Redemption 2, we see the story of the gang during a tumultuous time in the West, from the perspective of main protagonist Arthur Morgan. Arthur is one of the most loyal and respected members of the Vandalink gang, being what he calls the workhorse of the group and Dutch's right hand man essentially. The story for me is the forefront of the first Red Dead Redemption and this thankfully is no different. Red Dead Redemption 2 is a narrative driven open world gaming experience that pushes the boundaries of all open world games that have come before it. The game masterfully crafts a narrative that both stands on its own, while also perfectly weaving itself into the narrative that subsequently follows in the original Red Dead Redemption. As I said previously, when it comes to the narrative of Red Dead Redemption 2, I had a massive criteria of expectations of what I felt needed to happen for me to be satisfied with how the story played out. Which is a dangerous place to be in as a fan, because even if the game had been great, if my criteria isn't met, I would have been disappointed. But again, the first game's narrative was so important to me, and I needed there to be a real reason to tell this prequel story. Rockstar could have picked any story in the West to tell a Red Dead game in, but no, they called this game Red Dead Redemption 2, and told the story of Dutch's gang before the events of the first game. So to me, there had to be a reason for it. There had to be a story they wanted to tell, and it had to connect respectfully and thoroughly to the first game's narrative. Because I don't want to spoil anything in this review, I won't say whether all my criteria were met, because some of my viewers know my criteria, while at the same time by the end of the game, some of my criteria, not all, had changed because I had become so intimately connected to the story I was currently playing. Red Dead Redemption 2 is most certainly an incredible prequel that does exceed my expectations in how it is delivered as a connected plotline to the first game, but I cannot understate how much Red Dead Redemption 2 delivers its own standalone story that had me emotionally gripped for the entire game. I can safely say Red Dead Redemption 2 is now the best scripted narrative in a game I have ever experienced. It explores its themes superbly, characters develop naturally, and relationships between them are so believable it's hard to imagine I'm not watching real life play out. With film it's so difficult to play the slow game with character relationships and make it realistic. But in a game format, Rockstar knew they didn't have to rush things, and they certainly didn't. The narrative flow of the story and character relationships was so genuine, I truly had never experienced anything like it in a game before. Especially to this scale. This wasn't one father-son relationship like in God of War. This is a relationship between a multitude of varying characters in a gang, including the three most major characters, Arthur Morgan, Dutch Vandalin, and the first game's protagonist, John Marston. The many themes that are so artfully explored in the narrative help build the tension and world into something so unique and believable. Greed, loyalty, change, nature, and of course redemption are key to this narrative. Change and nature being prominent themes to the Wild West. That at this point in history is dying, moving on, and leaving behind the life the Vandalin gang is so desperately chasing. That chase lasts throughout this entire game and carries over with some major characters both in this game and to the first Red Dead Redemption. 
It is something that drives both the moving world as a free roam experience, as well as a tension builder between the changing values and ideals of our characters. Loyalty being a key pillar to our gang, and main protagonist Arthur. It's everything Arthur believes in, and is the key pillar that drives him throughout the whole game. It's a relatable quality that got me invested in Arthur from the very early portions of the story. That value he has is something that builds and is tested at every turn of the narrative. It changes and helps build to the inevitable theme of redemption that these games have been built around. I'm obviously leaving out spoilers here with the specifics, but these themes are what drive the narrative in a way and to a scale that I've never seen done so ingeniously in a video game to this day. I can't say enough good things about the scripted narrative of Red Dead Redemption 2, and I could sit here all day and analyse the multitude of characters, themes and moments in the story that make it so perfect, but alas this is a spoiler free review. Red Dead Redemption 2 is far more than just its narrative however, though that is the game's primary focus. The other is the living, breathing, simulated world in which the story takes place in. This world is enormous and free to explore, work and live in to your heart's content. The game has endless people to have unique interactions with, with side stories and jobs to participate in. A world that you must also look after your character and equipment in, from eating, bathing, getting your hair cut, cleaning your weapons and grooming your horse as just a few examples. The world Rockstar built in Red Dead Redemption 2 almost doesn't feel like a video game at all, but a simulation of what 1899 would have looked like. Everything felt natural and real, every little detail is covered and thought of, nothing seems to be missed, it's just insane. It has enhanced my expectations of all games now. For the first time playing a game I sat there thinking of the little details I wouldn't expect a game to do, but thought, well if this is happening and I'm here, then I'd expect in real life I'd be able to do this. And sure enough, I bloody well could in the game. I don't want to get too specific with what I mean by this, because it's something truly marvellous to experience in the game yourself. To be thinking, man, I feel like in real life I'd be able to do this, then to discover you can? The game doesn't tell you you can, nor does it show off with icons or menus what to do. It just lets you discover it and have the little moments and experiences for yourself. It builds that unique player experience that is so rare in video games today. It's that that sets it so far apart from any open world game I've played before it. It's not a game with all these set game mechanics in the world for you to just use. It's a world that the game mechanics and functions continually change based on what's going on in the world and the storyline. So many games out there build their game, its gameplay and mechanics, and the story has to fit around those things. That's not the case with Red Dead Redemption 2. The story doesn't work into the game mechanics, the game mechanics work into the story. So if there's something you'd think you should be able to say or do at any point in the story or situation, you'll find the game probably allows you to do that all of a sudden. It's a huge risk that almost no games take, to have certain gameplay features that are only available at certain points of the story, many that are extremely enjoyable, and later to have them not available. But at the same time they're not gone, they just change the way they're presented or the way it works in the world. It's fascinating watching a game take so many risks in a way it is presented, while in every way staying true to the root of what it is. It's a balance so hard to pull off and most games fail miserably to do so. The only negatives that I have got for Red Dead Redemption 2 come from some of the gameplay functions. The controls as a third person combat system are definitely not perfect. They're fine and fun and certainly are effective, but it is also not the best third person shooter experience by a long shot. I can also understand for some people out there that the game is slow for them. With games today being so focused on instant gratification, or microtransactions being available to them if they don't want to put in the time, Red Dead Redemption 2 is not for the everyday person who wants to play games once in a blue moon. This is a masterpiece of a game that requires time and patience to sit down and let the game take you on its journey, not the other way around. So for the casual person that doesn't play many games that says, I just can't get into it, I get it. This game wasn't made for you. This game was made for gamers looking for something revolutionary, something different, looking for something they didn't know they wanted, looking for something that says, I know these game developers don't care, but we sure as hell do. And Rockstar Games delivered that wholeheartedly with Red Dead Redemption 2. This game to me is a masterpiece. I said earlier this year that God of War was the best game I had ever played. And I'm gonna need some time for this game to settle because that still might be true. 
but Red Dead Redemption 2 is undoubtedly the best scripted narrative in a game I've ever experienced, and at the very least, is the other best game I've ever played next to God of War. To have two games of that standard in one year is just incredible. My favourite two games before that were the first Red Dead and Skyrim, so in seven years nothing had beaten those games to me. Until this year, we have two games. As a hardcore gamer for my whole life, I'm honestly grateful to Rockstar Games for the experience of Red Dead Redemption 2, and will be talking about it for the rest of my life as a gamer, I believe. Red Dead Redemption 2, much like the first game, is a revolution to gaming. It will, and I think already has, change the way developers look at stories, world building, and what's important to gamers. I can't imagine what Rockstar have planned for the IP in the future, but it's one I believe will continue to revolutionize gaming for decades to come. <laughs>